Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with me, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Mason Massey, of, who just got announced as the the latest full-time driver in the uh, in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, driving the number 33 Ford for Rayum Brothers Racing. Um, of course, that was also announced today that Rayum, bro, uh, Rayum will drive Fords this year um, in the Truck Series. By the way, also, happy birthday, Mason. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Happy to be here. Yeah. Um, don't worry. We won't We won't say how old you are. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that as well. I'm getting um, too old. Yeah. So th- kind of talk about this. And this was just put together not too long ago. It was over the last couple of weeks, man. Um, I'm known Josh for, I don't know, three or four years. It's been a long time. He gave me my first opportunity. Uh, ever in NASCAR and uh, we kept in touch over the years and you know had an opportunity to, you know to race full-time with them this year and that's what I've always wanted to do is race full-time in NASCAR and it just kind of came together for us and um, and you know he wanted me there I wanted to go there and uh, I like the truck series a lot and he has some really good people over, over there working and um, it just sounded like a really good deal so I'm excited to get going. Yeah, so kind of talk about um, this for a second. I mean, uh, this is a team that's that's uh, that's really improved their program in the last in the last year. Of course, um, uh, of course, they announced that they were going to be uh, they will be uh, partnering with Ford Performance and all that. And um, as part of the growing list of Fords that are going to be out on the on the ra- on the uh, on the racetrack when we get to Daytona, I uh, just yeah. how exciting is it to to kind of really see uh, all the changes because there's been a lot of change going on over at Ray. Yeah, there really has. Um, everybody's been working hard over there, and, you know, I have a lot of respect for Josh. He works really hard, and he really wants to build this program up, and having some alliance with Ford and having some help from them here and there is going to help a lot, and just having that information, and, um, you know, we're ready for Daytona. It should be fun, and I'm ready to get out there and kind of see where we stack up because, um, you know, I feel like we'll be pretty decent this year, and we'll just keep working, working, and hopefully get better every single week. And um, we have our goals, you know, obviously want to finish all the laps, all the races and everything. And I think if we do that and do everything right, uh, we'll have some good finishes that come our way. So, and on the schedule for trucks, you know, there's a lot of racetracks that really play in my favor, I feel like. And um, I was excited about that as well. Yeah. Um, And just to be clear, you're going to be in the 33 truck, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yep. Number 33. So yeah. So when was your last truck race? Uh, it, it was actually 2019 uh, at I think it was Las Vegas. So it was no. a while back. Didn't you? And you ran that, I believe, for was that for Josh? I ran all my truck races for Josh. Yeah, he uh, he gave me a shot, and you know, like I said, it's my first opportunity, and we ran a few races. You know, we had some good finishes. We had the 18th place finish or 17th place finish and I didn't know what I was doing out there I was still brand new to it so uh it gives me confidence to know that I have a lot more experience now and he's trying to better his team every year and I feel good about where we're at and and hope to hope to have some good runs this year yeah for sure um just kind of talk about coming home and you know really you know this is kind of like the guy that really gave you a shot I mean everyone need everyone's got that one person that that's uh, that they can go back to and and say, oh, this guy really helped me to get on to where I am today. And and oh, for sure, for you that was Josh. It was Josh, yeah. Um, you know, you always remember that uh, that one guy that gave you your first shot for sure. And um, I've watched him watched him build his program over the last couple of years, and I've been really impressed by it. And um, you know. I went to his shop a couple weeks ago, looked around. He showed me around, and I was kind of blown away by what he's done ever since I've been there. You know, there's been a lot of improvements, and he wants to run good. He wants to have success, and he works. He works 24-7, man. He's always working. So I got a lot of respect for him, and um, he has good guys working for him over there. Teddy Brown's over there, and he's well-respected. So um, and we have the people, and – I just got to go do my job and hopefully we can put together some good races. Uh, what races are you most looking forward to this year? 
Uh, I'm looking forward to Bristol Dirt for sure. I have a dirt background, so that'll be a fun one. Um, I've never ran a road course, so in a way, I'm kind of looking forward to those to kind of see how I stack up in that, and it'll be interesting. But uh, I like Richmond, Darlington, IRP, all the worn out tracks. I feel like that's kind of where where I'm at my best, and um, there's a lot of those on the schedule. So um, I think there's there's some good opportunity for us to have some good finishes, and like I said, we just all got to do our job, and you know. I got to put the work in. I got to work hard and um, hopefully the results will come from that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, how excited are you to like go to mid Ohio later this year? Cause that's, uh, that'll be a fun one. I'm excited. Uh, I've watched races there for years on TV and stuff. I've never been there and it looks like a fun place. Uh, I just gotta, I gotta do my homework and um, I've been, I've been doing some eye racing there. So hopefully that'll, help a little bit in real life. I don't know, but I just got to do my homework, like I said, and, and just ask questions to people, you know, I'm, re I'm really good friends with some good road course racers. So just get some advice and get just some pointers here and there and hopefully be good to go. Yeah. That's, uh, that's actually where I went there the, for the first time last season. So, oh, yeah. And I'm excited to go back there uh, in July. So it'll be fun. Um, so, you know, to, to get, to go, I, I believe this is also your first full time season ever. Ever, yeah. I mean, what what does that mean to you to like to go full time in something? I mean, it means a lot. Uh, you know, that's your goal as a kid, right? I mean, you want to want to be a full time NASCAR driver, and um, it's just awesome, awesome to make that reality. And um, you know, it, it's just it's just really cool, and hopefully, hopefully, I have a lot more full time years to come. And um, I'm ready for the experience and the grind of being a full-time NASCAR driver. And uh, like I said, it's what I've always wanted. And so uh, I'm just really excited. And, you know, I have a good team around me. And so it'll be a fun year. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then just uh, finally, uh, you know, going to Daytona, getting ready for that. Um, what's that going to be like as we, uh, as we head there? It's going to be fun, man. I always love going down there and uh, – you know, they're in the race shop getting the truck ready right now, and it's starting to look good, starting to come together. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting down there, and it's always a fun race. You know, first race of the year, uh, everybody's pumped up. Everybody's, everybody's really excited. So, uh, yeah, I hope to have a good run there and, you know, get on the hot streak maybe early on and, you know, see what we got. All right. Well, Mason Massey, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, best of luck this season. Congratulations, and go celebrate your birthday today. All right, man. Thank you. Have a good one.